in honor of Black History Month, I'm going to show you how I drew one of the most famous women in African American history. I'm talking about Harriet Tubman. Just why? Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and share my video with a friend. I was inspired to do this drawing after seeing a sculpture that is located in the city of Wilmington at the Tubman Garrett Riverside Park. It's a large bronze called Unwavering Courage in Pursuit of Freedom. The sculpture of Harriet Tubman is one of strength, dignity, and freedom. And just seeing her face, her image, I had to choose her to be the subject for my video. Harriet Tubman, born March 1822, died March 10th, 1913. She was an American abolitionist and political activist. Born into slavery, Tubman escaped and sequentially made some 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including family and friends. Using the network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. I broke it up into three major sections. First, starting out with the portrait of Harriet Tubman. Then I have a silhouette of her dragging a little boy behind her. And then I have a rhythmic pattern of trees in the background. The silhouette that I have of Harriet dragging a child through the forest is inspired by cutouts, a cutout installation that I saw at the Baltimore Museum of Art done by the African-American artist Kara Walker. During the American Civil War, she served as an armed scout and spy for the Union Army. In her later years, Tubman was an activist in the struggle for women's suffrage. Born a slave in Dorchester County, Maryland, Tubman was beaten and whipped by her various masters as a child. Early in life, she suffered a traumatic head wound when an irate slave owner threw a heavy metal weight intending to hit another slave, but hitting her instead. The injury caused dizziness, pain, and swells and spells of hypersomnia, which occurred throughout her life. After her injury, Tubman began experiencing strange visions and vivid dreams, which she ascribed as premonitions from God. These experiences, combined with her Methodist upbringing, led her to become devoutly religious. When I start working on a portrait and I'm using oil pastels, I'm building up colors starting with lights, then I start working to my middle tones, then I finally start working into my darker tones and shadows. And I just start modeling and slowly building, modeling and building until it feels just right. This is something that I kind of do intuitively. Um, it's not something that I really teach, but it's just a way of working that just comes natural and I've done for so long. In 1849, Tubman escaped to Philadelphia, then immediately returned to Maryland to rescue her family. Slowly, one group at a time, she brought relatives with her out of the state and eventually guided dozens of other slaves to freedom. Traveling by night in the extreme secrecy, Tubman, or sometimes called Moses, never lost a passenger on the Underground Railroad. After the Fugitive Act of 1850 was passed, she helped guide fugitive slaves farther north into British North America, otherwise known as Canada, and helped newly free slaves find work. 
When the Civil War began, Tubman worked for the Union Army first as a cook, a nurse, and then an armed scout and spy. The first woman to lead an armed expedition in the war. She guided the raid at Combahee Ferry, which liberated more than 700 slaves. After the war, she retired to the family home on property she had purchased in 1859 in Auburn, New York, where she cared for her aging parents. She was active in the women's suffrage movement until illness overtook her and she had to be admitted to a home for elderly African Americans that she had helped establish years earlier. After her death in 1913, she became an icon of courage and freedom. And this is why I chose Harriet Tubman as the symbol for my work of art, because I believe she is a woman that stands for all things good and just in the world. She is not just an African-American hero. She is an American hero. I would like to encourage everyone to seek out and find the 2019 movie Harriet. It is an excellent movie on the life and times of Harriet Tubman. I enjoyed it thoroughly and I discovered things about Harriet Tubman that I never knew. It was an uplifting and enjoyable movie to watch. Harriet, 2019 version. Find it, see it, you will like it. I feel very spiritual about the work I do and working on a figure such as Harriet Tubman I could almost feel her talking or moving my hand or telling me that it's okay you're doing right keep on going don't stop 